tasks to track the cost of a project throughout its schedule. The Autodesk AEC collection provides you with a rich set of tools to use across the project lifecycle so you can deliver more scalable, sustainable, and resilient road and highway projects. All right, so hello everyone and welcome to our free online lesson for today. And I'm Shafiq Farhan, Product Manager for DNM, ICAP System, Sunan Berhad. So for today's topic, we are focused on one of very general things that people need to know, which is data management. Okay, using Autodesk solution, you can use Autodesk Vault, you, uh, which you can do your own workflow to create your data management. So before I go details into the how to create and how to compare, how to do the rules and workflow. So let me go into this slide first. So the first slide that I want to show is about our product comparison for VOD products. Okay, the first one, Autodesk VOD, they will have VOD basic, VOD work group, and also VOD pro professional. So the difference between these three, okay, this will be the same things first. So all these three can do inventor cat integration means you can save your inventor, you can open, you can check in, check out from your inventor software, civil 3D, and also support any cat. So using inventor, you can open any cat model or you want to directly input your, uh, for example, STP file to vote also, doesn't matter. Okay, so for the difference between these three, so what you can uh, try to compare, so this will be the things that Vault Basic don't have. Okay, for those, if you want to do a revision control, okay, you need to have a Vault work group or Vault professional at least. Okay, so normally we will suggest people will go to direct Vault professional. All right, so this will be the things that you can do or you can. Uh, create, for example, the project and reporting using Vault Professional. So using with uh, Vault Basic, you just only can do all these things. Concurrent design, flexible dev, uh, deployment, Microsoft Office integration. So for example, you want to save your file for Word, Excel, and also PowerPoint. Okay, you also can use Vault Basic to save or to check out and check in into your Vault software. Okay, for the additional things that what professional have. So you can also do the BIM 360 integration, Fusion 360 integration, Revit integration. So this will be very good for those that working with manufacturing and construction industry that combine together. Okay, I give you an example when your consultant or your project that deal with construction area, they are using BIM 360. So using VOD integration, VOD professional, you can integrate your file from VOD professional to BIM 360. Okay. In certain cases for manufacturing industry, they focus or they use Fusion 360, which means same like of VOD, but they are using a cloud base. So they are saving all the file into a cloud. So using VOD Pro, you can also integrate between your file that you save on local with the cloud. So that will be the benefit that we are uh, when that you will get if you go with a VOP professional software. Okay, if you require more, uh, you want to know more about a uh, VOP professional later on, you can uh, contact us or just give us a call. I got systems. Okay, this will be the method of installation the software first. Okay, how to install the software, how to install the your vault if you don't have the vault professional how to install the vault basic okay or how to install your vault work group so the first method is the same method uh, as you install using the other software so you need to go to your autodesk account or you can go to manage.autodesk.com and directly go to your product design manufacturing collection if you purchase inventor you also get the vault, ba vault basic Okay, then you can access the vault basic. All right, so later I'll go and show how to access the software. 
Right, so the basic workflow for Vault, for Vault. Okay, the first one is a copy file from Vault. So you want to copy one file to another location or you want to make it into a, your local drive. Okay, the second workflow is to check out the file to edit. Okay, by default, the file will store at the Vault server. Okay, when you already set the server at a one specific location, folder location, and suddenly you want to do some edit, you need to check out first. These checkout features is allow you to control that multiple people using the same file. Okay, using Vault checkout. Okay, and after you're done with the editing, you want to put into the your Vault server back. So what you need to do, you just need to click on the check in button. So that will be the idea on the workflow. All right, so I go to the Another one. Okay, get versus check out. So what the difference between these two? These two concept is the same. You want to get the file, right? So when you get a file, means you will copy the file directly to your local and you do the editing at your local, save into your local. Okay, but if you do the checkout, when you click, click the button checkout, so the file is still stored at the server file server folder so any changes it will reflect to the server file itself okay so that will be the difference between get and checkout for vault All right so i believe that will be the good uh, that will be a simple explanation for vault so let me show you on how we do or how we install how we get the installer first okay so i will go to my autodesk account so this will be my Autodesk account, which I go to manage.autodesk.com. Okay, what you need to do, you just need to go to here, all product and services to get your Vault product. So if you have a Vault professional, you just need to click on here. So for example, Vault professional single user, and then click view download. So later you just need to have the installer. Okay, so you need to install two things. The first thing is a file server, only valid for your server location that you want to save. Okay, and the second one is a Vault professional client. Client means you want to put your Vault software into the user PC. All right, so this will be the idea on how to install, how to get the Vault software. Okay, but if you don't purchase the Vault professional, how you can access your Vault? Okay, if you purchase your product design manufacturing collection, just need to click on view item and just scroll at the bottom, okay, because bot is starting from uh, V. So this, this sequence is uh, alphabet sequence, so V, so at the bottom, VOP basic client and also VOP basic server, right? For these two, the concept and the idea will be here. Right, so without wasting time, I will like to show you how to create one setup project and how to set a workflow for your data, for your data management. Okay, the first thing that you need to do after you're done with all installation, so you need to go to your desktop and you will see this thing. Right, so the proper method of installation, so you need to install the software first before you install the vault. Okay, make sure that you already install the software before you install the Vault. Okay, this will be your Vault server. Okay, the another one will be your Vault client. All right, so the first method just need to click on the Vault server, double click and make it the software open for you. All right, so over here for Vault data management server, so what you need to do, you just need to set a project set a person set a rules okay by default for the starting for a first time login the administrator you need to log in using administrator without any password for the first login only for a first login okay and then hit okay all right so over here you will see your project okay so this will be your pc the server that you already installed and to create a project you need to create one project over here and specify the store location c this pc i directly put into c drive 
Okay, so my work project is ACAT systems free on a lesson. FOL, free on a lesson. Okay, and hit OK. So while waiting for this bot to generate the folder, because uh, bot will help you to create a, a different folder for that specific project or spe specific bot location that you already set. So you can also discover on this button. They will have three button, file, tools, and action. All right, so for action, you need to do refresh every time you add something. Okay, so for this case, I as an admin, I want to add a user for my project. So what I need to do, I just need to go to this tools, administration. Okay, so for global setting means the administrator, you can create a manage, you can create a user, you can create a rules and a group. So for example, I create a user. So I create two different users. The first user will be myself, Shafiq Akat. So my username will be Shafiq Akat. So my email address, I just specify, just type in here. All right, so if you want to create your own password for the user, okay, then you can add the user password here. Okay, also you need to confirm the password together. Right, so for this project, you will need to create later, you need to create the rules, both and also groups for specific user, for each user. Okay, so I use Shafiq. Okay. Shafiq, right, so this one. So the username will be I can Shafiq. So this will be the user that I already create. So I need to delete. So the second user that if I plan to do or to create, you just need to go to here, Nabil. I can. So I can Nabil. Okay, and also the email address and password. Okay, for this case, Nabil, I don't want to put any password for him. So just leave it blank. So hit OK and click close. All right, so later, so each people, you need to create a rules and also a group. Okay, for rules first. Okay, so this will be the rules that you will can assign to different user. So for administrator, they will have the person that get, get the administrator rules. The person will have access to do a full control of folder. Means you can delete, the person can do delete, upload file, and do any changes of your file. Okay, so this will be the things. If you want to know more, you just need to click and edit. Okay, so if you plan to change everything, just can add something here. Okay, to create a new rules, what you need to do, click here, rules as a, this will be rules for guest or visitor. Okay, only for visitor. Okay, visitor only can do the folder here. So I try to check on this file read. Okay. So the visit, visitor rules only can read the file and hit OK. So new one. All right. So after you're done with the setup of rule, the setup of group also. So what you need to do, you just need to go back into your manage user and click on here. Nabil, for example, Nabil, I just need to edit. Nabil can access the project for my ACAT system FOL that I created earlier. And the rules for Nabil will be as a visitor. And hit OK. But for myself, I will do as a, I just create myself, the rules will be as a document consumer editor, level one and level two. Okay, and also can access the same project. But if you have a multiple project, the one person can access many projects. So you just need to tick into this add box. Yeah. And after you're done, just hit OK, close, and again, just close over here. Right, so over here will be your location of your project. So you need to know where is the file that your receive will be stored. 
So just need to click on here, then you will see the location, the file size, the database size will be around 300 something. And also the store location will be at C, ACAD system FOL. So already create one extra folder there. Okay, so this will be the first method of first idea of creating a vault server. Okay, you can do as complex as you want, but for basic, they will have some limitation. Okay, because you cannot do the revision, you can also cannot do all the BIM integration and so on. But if you go with a vault professional, they will have a more buttons that you can set. Okay, a bit more complicated. So after I done with this, I just need to close my server. Okay, we don't touch any software yet. So I just close my server and click, go to my Autodesk Vault Basic to log in into my account first. Okay, so the first account that I try to log in, which is administrator. Okay, for, for the administrator account, without the password again, because I don't change anything. And I need to access the ACAT system FOL folder. Okay, without password and hit OK. So then the Vault Basic will bring you directly to the, the folder that we already create here. Okay, but over here, you need to specify first, if you plan to create, an, uh, as administrator, I plan to create a existing, a new folder. So for example, this one is new. Okay, I create more on existing, existing. And I also can do many type of folder and save my file also over here. Then what will happen to my user or my, my for example, my account, Shafiq account. So I just need to log out and log in using Shafiq account. Okay, I can. And the password are as per set. Over here. Okay, so Shafiq also will see the same folder that administrator already created. So that will be the idea on how we work on this Vault Basic. So for Vault Basic client, you can install as uh, at user PC. For example, you have more than you have five PDMC, then you can install into five different location of PC. And every people need to have access. Okay, the administrator need to give the access to each people to access the file first. Okay, so this will be the idea on the first one. Okay, how about Nabil? Because Nabil, the rules as a visitor. Okay, so what I need to do, I just need to go back into my Vault client again and log in, this time log in using Nabil account. I kept Nabil. Okay, without password because I don't set any password. Hit OK. Right, so for Nabil, okay, Nabil cannot see any vault project because we don't set, we don't give the permission to Nabil to access the file. Right, so that will be the idea. So now I want to use as a Shafiq to create a document or as an administrator to create a document and save into vault. What will happen? So just need to log out and close, open my AutoCAD software. Okay, so this will be the method of, of creating. So I try to summarize a little bit. So the first here, this one need to install to user PC. Users PC. Okay, for data management, only install into at one PC, which is the server. Okay, for user PC and also for the server. Okay, so if you require user to use a software, then you can install also the software into the user PC. So in my case, I try to install AutoCAD, AutoCAD, uh, AutoCAD Mechanical, and also Inventor. So by default, when you install your Vault, okay, into your AutoCAD, so what you will see later, so you will or you will see directly they will have one button for Vault. Okay, for this case, I just need to wait. I try to open my first drawing first. Okay, I can ISO. All right, so just need to go to here. 
Okay, at ins. Okay, so log in the Autodesk Vault 2021 plug in successfully loaded. So in certain case, you facing issue to create the to to see the Vault button here. So what you need to do, you need to add the menu for your Vault. Okay, just need to click on this one add in button. So I try to log in into Shafiq account. So here, click in, click on log in. Okay, the first one, log in. All right. So same like previous, I use Shafiq account and put the password one. I get full. So you can also set automatic login for next session. Means if you are the only user for this PC, so what you need to do, you just need to tick here. No need to log in every time you go to the software. So just tick over here. Okay, but if the user is changed, uh, maybe you are uh, sometimes you're using this the specific PC, then you just need to untick that thing. All right. So now I will start with create one sim one simple drawing. Okay, the first drawing which I create a rectangle and also the circle for my drawing. Okay, after I done with this thing, I need to click on this check in button to make sure that this drawing will save into my vault. Right? So you also can do this save button, but this save button you will save into your locker. But if you plan to save into your vault server, you want to every you want to make sure that everybody can access your file. Okay, you just need to check in your file. Okay, so save first. So I just save my drawing. Okay, and then click on check in again. Right, so I just need to specify this will be the new drawing. Okay. Right, so keep the file checkout. If you require, close the file and delete the working copies. If required. Okay, if not, you just need to hit OK only. Right, so the software will help you to check in your file into your drawing file to the vault and later administrator or user or any else people will see the file at vault. Okay, that will be the idea on how to check in the file. Right, so now working in this vault, vault file. Right. Okay, so if I plan to open a file, so what I need to do, I just need to go to this vault. Okay, I just open one drawing. Okay, again, I open another drawing. Click here. Okay, so before I start to, to draw my drawing or to do some editing, so I need to check out my file. Okay, so later you just need to here open. Okay, you can open and also you can check out. So open first to specify, to check your file. So on new. So for this drawing, I try to, they will have open for read only, open checkup and open checkup all. So they will have three option for your vault open. So now I try to open checkout, right? So the software will help you to open back the drawing Okay, and you will see at this top, okay, you already check out the file, the checkout button already gray out. And after you do the editing, rectangle again over here, and you need to click on the check in button again. Okay, All right, so you want to continue and save? Yes. All right, so let me check on the overview of a vault concept. So I go back into the Vault basic or Vault client. So I log in into administrator. Administrator. Okay, so without password, okay. Right, so later what administrator can see, administrator can click on here, go to new. So this will be the drawing that I already create, the revision also. So the version one, version two, okay? So if your administrator or your boss don't have any software using Vault software or Vault solution, you can 
ask them to view the drawing using this vault directly. So for example, I want to preview this drawing number two. Okay, so this will be the drawing number one. This will be drawing number two. So just click and view from this vault interface. Right, so for a first time, you need to install Autodesk Design Review. Okay, before you can have access to view drawing because my PC have AutoCAD software, so I can open and view from AutoCAD. So this will be the idea. Okay, if you double click into the file, also you need to click on here, you need to, then the Autodesk vault will help you to, they will ask you either you want to check out this file before you open, or you only want to open without, open for read only. So either two option. Okay, so this will be the general idea on how to create on this Autodesk vault. So now I try to use another software which is AutoCAD Mechanical, right? So even though you're using, you are using AutoCAD, AutoCAD Mechanical or AutoCAD Plan 3D, you cannot use basic one, AutoCAD Plan 3D only for vault professional, okay? So the things that normally the people use, AutoCAD, AutoCAD Mechanical and also Inventor if they are working with VOP, okay? These three software. Okay, after you're done with everything, then you want to integrate into your software again or into your BIM or your construction drawing. So what you need to do, you just need to have a VOP professional first. So that will be the first step moving. Okay, so over here, I just go back into my server because I plan to change Nabil rules go to my server okay and log in as administrator give access to nabil administrator again okay click on here click on sorry click on this tool administration and then directly click create on here so for nabil i just click edit nabil will have access into a multiple access over here okay only without administrator access so click here okay for group normally people will do like this okay for group you can create as technical technical finance right so uh, and also you want to create as admin and management you create as a group okay so that will be how you create of VOLT rules and group. So you need to have your workflow idea first before you create. Okay, then I just need to click OK, close and directly close again, All right? So using AutoCAD Mechanical, I try to log in using Nabil account later, All right? So I just click on here. Or oh, Nabil wants to try to log in into his account. So when you see on this new, new, open, and also open from vault, they will have another button over here, new one, open drawing from vault. Okay, I can also click on here, open from vault. All right, so later they will have same pop-up like AutoCAD because the same software, All right? So you just need to specify what file that you want to open. Okay, as I can Nabil, okay, without password, okay. And again, choose a file that you want to create or you want to open from AutoCAD Mechanical. So it doesn't matter what software that you are using. If you use Excel also, you can open the same file. So this same file, I try to open, check out, yes. And then do another editing, I create a construction line or I want to create this one height situation for these things. So I just use create height situation object and this additional object, additional object, enter, right? So free object over here. So I try to delete back. So height situation delete for here. Okay, so I create back, create again, I click on this only. So now you see that you will have level one and level two. Okay, for level two, you will see that there these two object. If I change this level one, go up and level two, and just click 
save, make sure that you save from VOP, check in into your VOP software. Okay, and hit OK. Right, so later uh, other people also will see the same things like what you will try to edit. So what you need to do after the VOP mechanical done with the saving, so you just need to go again to your VOP, click on this refresh button. Okay, now already see the edit and edit by Nabil. So that will be the idea on how we monitor, how we do, how we manage our dat data from this VOP data management. All right, so I believe that will, be, that will be the things that I want to share for today. If you have any question or if you want to ask more about VOP, okay, you can leave us a comment on our YouTube or our Facebook, okay, our YouTube channel. Currently, we do live from our YouTube. Don't forget to go to YouTube ACAP System Sendian Berhad and then click on this subscribe and this bell ring button. All right. So we hope we can do more frequent on our free online lesson. Just join our free online lesson. If you want to join, go to ACAP Systems website and register your attendance for next free online lesson. All right. So that the things. I hope everyone happy with my presentation for today. If you have any question, just comment into our YouTube channel. All right. So thank you, everyone. And stay safe. Hope you are happy. Uh, hope you are willing to join more our free online lesson in future. Okay. So I will end this session for today, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.